Have you seen Steve? Yes. Is he in the nether? No. Is he at the village? No. Is he at the farm? No. Where is he? He grew up. No, it's raining all right. Man, I gotta go back and watch Full Metal Alchemist. That series was so killer. You should watch both Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood right now. Very great entry point for anime if you're looking to get into it, but pretty epic. Hello and welcome back to Calibus. My name is Quite, and today we're gonna be looking at some r slash I'm 14 and this is Deep, a subreddit for things that little kids post and think is really profound, but usually isn't. Now, I just wanna preface this by saying that some of these posts are very clearly jokes and not all of them are serious, but I still felt like they should be included as they are fun. Anyway, let's hop right into it. Maybe if I fall in love with my depression, it will leave me too. See, if you if somebody said this in real life, they would be called a dumbass so goddamn quick. So fast. I don't even know what the thought, like I know like it's supposed to be cheeky and whatnot, like oh yeah, of course it doesn't work like that. But come on, there's like, there's gotta be a limit for this shit. Math, big sad. On a scale of one to 10, how bad is your pain? Pi, 3.14. Pi, 3.14? Yeah, it's low level, but it's never ending. 14 year old student. Oh, welcome to life, bud. Doesn't mean it's unmanageable. It just means that there are always going to be problems that you kind of have to work your way through. It doesn't mean they're unsolvable. It just means that you will always have to keep working. Life is like a mirror. We get the best results when we smile at it. And apparently this is a status that OP posted nine years ago. Well, I respect the ability to look back and laugh. It is fun stuff at that time. And at least it's positive. What does this picture mean to you? Short people stop you from being lit. That's fucking slick. I love that. That's a, that's a fun way to look at it. I do respect. Here we have a Bart Simpson low peep edit and he's smoking. Incredible. Very profound. Petition to make this a thing for the server. Bart Simpson edits are the lifeblood of this goddamn country. That's all I'm saying. The working man has everything he has because of everything Bart Simpson did before him. Here we have like a little piece of art thing where it's a bunch of books stacked in such a way where when a light is shining on it, the shadow projection of the background says, think. Very thoughtful, very smart. I am actually crying because of how deep and smart this is. I am very, this is very cool. I found this on Facebook and I was about to cringe, but then I saw the title. No, I will not give you head. These words were the knife that stabbed him through the heart, murdering him. Plot twist, this isn't actually supposed to be a metaphor for anything. The girl just has a superhuman ability to shoot knives out of her mouth, and she, and she asked the dude if he wanted to see. And she's like, oh, you should probably back up, because you will get stabbed. But the dude doesn't believe it, so he just stands right there. And he's like, nope, go ahead. And she's like, well, okay. And then she murders him. Murders him. Wanted on criminal manslaughter. Ten years in jail. Top 29 images with deep meaning. What I think. All, all these intricate designs and patterns that are really cool to look at. What I say, next to nothing. It's a, it's a very empty thought bubble. Nothing is happening. Media makes people bad. Save me. The man pulls out his phone. A click, he takes a picture of the man falling in the quicksand. And he clicks save image. I mean, he did technically save him. But I'm kind of confused as to what it is killed the dude in the quicksand pit in the first place. Because he hasn't gotten any deeper. He's just kind of hanging out there. <coughs> is it just a hole and he didn't wasn't able to get any food? I, I don't know. That's kind of on him for not having stronger forearms. Nettle fix. Are you still watching? Me. No. Netflix. Finally, they spelt it right. Do you want it on the background anyway to fill the deafening silence of your loneliness? Okay. And then it's watermarked, posted in r slash dank memes, my favorite subreddit. Ah, it's so cool and epic. Repost if you are against bullying. What do you want to buy your dad for his birthday? A flower, says the big kid. LOL, a flower? Is your dad gay? Ha 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 No, my dad's dead. Oh, uh, I bet 99% won't. You're right, I won't. But it is still sad. I'm still crying on the inside. What people think depression looks like. What depression actually looks like. The people think it looks like Fat Thor just sitting on his butt with the sunglasses on, being an alcoholic, and people, and what apparently it actually looks like is the Joker trying to force himself to smile. True indeed. You know, depression does not manifest itself in any one way, okay, bud? Many people cope with and express their how they feel in multiple ways. Sometimes this is, includes alcoholism. Posted by an annoying fake depressed girl. Where's my Oscar? For acting like everything is fine. Okay, Margot Robbie, you already got an Oscar for makeup on Suicide Squad. Don't get too greedy now. 2019, and I'm still listening to music from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. I'm just kind of bracking out, if you know what I'm saying, dog. We live in a society. The moment you realize Tom was depressed and we were just too young to understand. I think Tom needs help. Eating pills, trying to hang himself, drinking a lot of eggnog. Ah, poor cat. Also, he needs a better owner who actually helps him watch his habits. On the picture of a Joker behind the scenes smoking... <laughs> I, okay, so we're carrying over from using Jared Leto Joker to using Joaquin Phoenix Joker, but the sentiment is the same. Using the Joker as the backdrop for your very serious motivational quotes kind of misses the point. About me, I can be mean as frick, sweet as candy, cold as ice, evil as hell, or loyal like a soldier. It all depends on you, bud. 
Saw this on Instagram, and damn, Joey, you're really fucked up this time. Nobody. 12-year-old relationships. We need to talk. Okay. So I heard you went to the park with Natalie. Why would you cheat on me, Joey? I gave you two chances, and I actually believed when you, when you said you loved me, but I guess not. I'm sorry, I was just hanging with her. Whatever, just don't talk to me in middle school. I didn't even love you. Sounds good to me, and well, you were the one that bought me Starbucks drinks, so you obviously loved me a little bit. Screw you, Joey. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, what was that? Oh, yeah, the elevator, because you're not on my level. I won this fight. We're over for real this time. Not even red, just delivered. I won this fight. I have conquered and succeeded at this match. Don't tell me I belong to your heart. You know I don't like crowded places. Daisy Don, Daisy Sib, Daisy Fred, Daisy Nick, Daisy Ed, Daisy Hugh. Daisy gets around, I guess. I don't know. Video games are like real life. Nobody cares if you die. 14 year old girls. 14. Oh shit, that's deep. With the stretch troll face and all. Very epic. Very accurate. Some people wake up to I love you texts. Well, I wake up to battery full, remove charger. Um, actually, I don't think that's the exact quote, so you don't wake up to that. You wake up to, uh, battery at 80%. Battery sufficiently charged. Low power mode turned off. Found on the gold mine that is I funny. With the alien from American Dad, I don't remember his goddamn name. Before sex, you help each other get naked. After sex, you only dress yourself. Moral of the story is, in life, no one helps you once you're fucked. And you didn't help the other person get dressed afterwards, so you can, you can, you know, you can. It's so hard to let you go. I miss you. Fuck, I love you. Come back. Not delivered, not delivered, not delivered, not delivered. L! That's an L! If a barber makes a mistake, it's a new style. If a politician makes a mistake, it's a new law. I don't think I've heard of a single instance of that happening, but whatever. If a scientist makes a mistake, it's a new invention. Only on occasion. If a tailor makes a mistake, it's a new style. If a teacher makes a mistake, it's a new theory. Ugh, this is some real 12 year old shit, I'm telling you. This is the peak of 12 year olds made this post. But if a student makes a mistake, it's a mistake. From at resadden, and they have the funny uh, sunset just kind of edited on the bottom of the tweet. We go from talking until 2 a.m. to 2 hours a day, to 2 minutes a day, to 2 days ago, to never again, and that hurts. You know what else hurts? Getting stabbed! <laughs> phone bad, but good, and the phones are ready from the sky, making the phones, making the books go extinct. Very profound, I'm shitting my pants. Here we have a heart with a bunch of band-aids sprinkled on it. Also, the texts are very distorted, like to be, you know, kind of aesthetic, but I also can't read a damn word. Last night, I hung out with some friends and cheated on you. Don't worry, I did something worse. What? Stayed at home and trusted you. Ah! I'm crying. I am so sad. Your heart is broken and now it needs band-aids to be healed. Squidward doesn't have any friends for his birthday. Me and my friend's birthday. All happy and joyous, drinking my heart out, you know, just having a good old time. Me and my birthday. In bed with my eyes open, incredibly worried. Where were you when Club Penguin died? I was at house eating Dorito when phone ring. Club Penguin is killed. No, my childhood! Society, but unironically. Childhood is when you idolize Batman. Idolhood, adulthood is when you realize that Joker makes more sense. No, it's not! You fucking psychopath! People who actually share this shit have, don't know what the fuck the Joker's about, I'm telling you that! My mouth says I'm okay. My finger texts I'm fine. My heart says I'm broken. My wife asked me why I spoke so softly in the house. I said I was afraid Mark Zuckerberg was listening. She laughed. I laughed. Alexa laughed. Siri laughs. None of those are Mark Zuckerberg. One is Amazon, the other is Apple. You idiot. You meant you flubbed the joke. I sat with my anger long enough until she told me her real name was Grief. I'm sure there's some truth to that statement, but uh, it's just the funny image of the person and the different outfits that really sells the point. Hits blunt. First you learn to read, then you read to learn. Very cool. Very epic. Deep thoughts. I'm, I'm literally, these thoughts are so deep, I can't swim in them. My dad, my mommy told me not to go in the deep. Eminem. Love is evil. Spell it backwards, I'll show you. Uh, E-V-O-L. That's not how you spell evil, silly. 14 year olds, the crying cat. Um, excuse me, scary orb thing? What are you taking? Preparing to be drained of all individuality and spirit. Isn't that high school? Yup, high school. I read that out of order. Whatever. Doesn't really change how effective the message is. Anyways, that's all the time we have here today on Calibus. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, and check back tomorrow for new Reddit content as we post Reddit here daily. We have another I'm 14 and this is deep video if y'all wanted to see it. Anyways, this has been quite, uh, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.